Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hope y'all doing great. It's not too bad of a day today. <laughs> of course, it's a little, we've been getting a lot of rain, so of course with our land out here, just stay soppy until we can start really getting some grass growing once we get all these trees taken out. But anywho, are you trying to steal my thunder? I am. Man. <laughs> anywho, don't know if you've ever wondered it. I have. I think it's gonna work. I think I'm gonna try to make some cookies today on the sawmill. Now, it's a no-bake cookie. <laughs> and they've got plenty of fiber. This is true. So we're gonna try it out today and, and see if they turn out pretty good. So let's get started. Unless you've got something to add. Now, a couple of our friends have asked for the discs um, called cookies or or discs or yeah, actually, I've Frisbees. got the one thing that really got to me was because a, fr a friend of mine at work asked me if I could make one because he wants to actually uh, like put a picture onto a round disc part. Uh, I think he said he was going to like burn the edges around a little bit to give it a little look and then put a picture in the middle of it. And I thought, oh, that looks pretty good. Me, I don't know about you. But I thought, well, I could use my chainsaw. That's the easiest way to do it. It, but, eats, it eat, really eats away so much of the wood. Well, I mean, I mean, it takes a big bite out of the wood, but you're just making a disc or two. And sanding. But, but my problem is, is I couldn't cut a straight line <laughs> cutting with a chainsaw if my life depended on it. Really, I mean, I couldn't. I'd, I'd be, you know. But, so I figured, the old sawmill out today that should get me a nice straight line i don't think i can really screw that up so jeff's going to explain the contraption he has set up to allow for the cutting of the disc so i'm going to back the camera up and i'm going to let him explain this and then we're going to attempt to saw some cookies okay and i'm hoping this kind of works it, in my head it works but a lot of times things in my head don't always turn out to work. So, I mean, if you have a better idea how this works, please leave that down below for me. I'd really appreciate it. But what I ended up doing was I had a piece of scrap, two by 10, and my coffee. Oh, man. Uh, I had a two by 10 and a two by six. And so what I ended up doing was putting together the 2x10 to the 2x6. It's kind of, you know, a sturdy piece. And that way I can flip it to make a small edge or keep it up to make a tall edge because, you know, you've got that space in between on the sawmill. So this can actually go up against those log blocks that are back there and hopefully keep a good sturdiness when I can crank it, the log on there. So, cause I figured if I just put it, tried to screw it on there somehow, I think the log would shake too much maybe. I don't know, but we're gonna see if this works out or not, worth a darn. So, what do y'all think? Should I start with my smaller round log or either just go for all the gusts go and go for the big one? Just go for it. What do y'all think? What? Okay, I'll go with the big one. I heard, that's the first thing I heard was big one, I'll go with the big one. And I'm gonna try this with the pine logs that I got from my neighbor across the street. So, they're probably a little sappy. I'm gonna put my gloves on so I don't get all sticky. I'll just leave you to it then. Mm hmm Base on this one is roughly 15 inches to about 14 inches. It looks like it's just gonna squeeze on there just right. This other one though, it kind of did a little curve. I might have been able to turn it. I don't know, it's pretty wide at the bottom. But this, this one's roughly about 19 inches by 15 inches or 16 inches. And then you've got, you know, that extra inch and a half 
from this backboard, so you can't really put up the big mags like this can take up to 22 inch log around. Obviously, you know, you've got to remember you got to take off that inch and a half, so. I think if we put this to the center, for now, I don't think my mill's going to go past. That either. Um, no. Turn the log. Yeah, that's what I'm probably going to end up having to do. Maybe. 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 Uh, it might do it. Ended up, you know, putting a little board here so I could get a good surface for that little. I think I need to really look for something that gives me like a flatter surface instead of that little point drill I've got. Because I think it just screws into the wood too much. But I don't know. Seems a little rough, but we'll see how that first one works. Cross your fingers, guys. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure either. Boy, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. I really like that. Speaking of, hey, if you really like what's going on today, hit the little like button, 
you know, maybe subscribe if you'd like to, hit the notification so that you can always keep up with us. And please just share your stuff or share the videos with everybody, please, because we just love bringing this to everybody. But I think this one I made this one two inches thick, so I think I might try to do like a little table or something out of this, one, maybe. I don't know. Give me your thoughts. See what y'all think. And a couple of things that I did notice on this was it seemed like my little board setup worked pretty good to keep it tight. I don't think I saw it really shaking too much, but I did notice going kind of like normal pace through it. I don't know if it's because going differently with the grain than normally with it laying down made a difference, but it seemed like it it curved it down just a little bit towards the middle to the end to where it was, you know, pulling off about a sixteenth or so of an inch. But when I went real slow through it, then that seemed like that kept it nice and straight across. So maybe one key is if you're going to try this yourself, just go real slow. And on the Woodland Mills, HM 122, that log that I just got to doing was about 23 and a half inches tall. And of course you gotta add in that one and a half inches for the, the two by that was down below, but, and that was right at the max with the saw raised all the way up. So about 23 inches or so is about what you're gonna get. So if you, you try it, you know, make sure your log's only about 23 inches tall. And it looks like only about maybe 16, 17 inches and across to uh, to make it work possibly. But oh, I think that is gorgeous. I don't know about y'all, but I believe it's just gorgeous. And if anybody knows, possibly the best natural way, I guess, to kind of do it, to make sure that the bark would stay on the edges of these. And I know you can use all kinds of other stuff, but if anybody knows a more real natural way of preserving it, instead of, you know, I know probably like, what, polyurethane or something like that, spraying it all over it would probably keep it on there. But if anybody knows of a real basic or, you know, natural way of doing it, let me know. Please leave that down below. And of course, anything else that you saw me screw up on, <laughs> leave that down below too and and please ideas that you got leave them down below that way anybody else watching might see those ideas as well give me the ideas as well too because like I said you know I know that you can probably do some more clock faces out of them and they make pretty clocks I mean especially with the little knots and stuff going through them keeping them the natural color and uh, maybe like little footstools possibly okay. I know I know some people my uh my daughter at her wedding actually wanted some, well, smaller pieces, but making them like little plates to put for wedding decorations. So, centerpieces. Centerpieces. So, any ideas you got extra too? I'd enjoy to hear them. I'm pretty sure Shauna would like to hear them too. I'm all about ideas. But she's already full of stuff, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, hope y'all enjoyed it. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Can't wait to meet y'all till next time. Y'all be safe and be careful. Later, guys.